Hey, welcome to Master Sports with Professor Roger. I'm Professor Roger, and today's lesson is in homonyms. You know, a word with two meanings. For example, if an old person says something is lit, they mean it's on fire. If a young person says something is lit, they mean they are having a great time at a party. Another example, the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. The famous Idaho Potato Bowl is a college football game that takes place in Idaho every year. This is the mascot of the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. He's horrifying. And if you win the famous Idaho Potato Bowl, the trophy you get is a bowl filled with potatoes. I'm on camera now talking about this Idaho Potato Bowl. You could argue that this is also a Idaho Potato Bowl that is famous. If I say a famous Idaho Potato Bowl, I could be talking about the game or this trophy you get for winning the game, which is filled with potatoes. Here, just for fun, is a picture of Josh Allen after winning the famous Idaho Potato Bowl, showing off his spectacular throwing form. There are a lot of bowl names with weird names. Just for one, we can talk about the St. Petersburg Bowl, which used to be called the Beef O'Brady St. Petersburg Bowl, then changed to the, uh, it was sponsored by Bitcoins, just the concept of Bitcoins, and became the Bitcoin St. Petersburg Bowl. And now it's the Bad Boy Mowers Gasparilla Bowl. It's a pirate-themed bowl named after lawn mowers. This year we actually have two new bowl game names. We have the uh, Cheez-It Bowl, and we've got the Red Box Bowl, named after the thing outside of grocery stores that no one uses. The greatest bowl name of all time, the Popeye's Bahamas Bowl. I actually attended the Popeye's Bahamas Bowl. Fun fact, there were no Popeye's in the Bahamas. They only have KFC there, but that didn't last. Uh, it's now the Makers Wanted Bahamas Bowl, which is sponsored by, I'm not making this up, a town in Illinois, Elk Grove Village. Um, we've got the Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. This is a company that makes goddamn fighter jets. I can't buy a fighter jet. Anyway, it all started about 120 years ago in Pasadena, California. The Rose Bowl, another example of a homonym. This is the Rose Bowl Stadium, and inside of the Rose Bowl Stadium, they are playing the Rose Bowl game. The Rose Bowl was the very first bowl game. Because of that, the word bowl came to just mean an important football game. That's why it's called the Super Bowl and the Pro Bowl, because there's a stadium shaped like a big circle. Back when they came up with the idea for the Rose Bowl, it was revolutionary. This was the 1925 Rose Bowl between Notre Dame and Stanford. You see, back in the 1920s, it was really hard to go places. Notre Dame had never played a team from the West Coast and people really liked it. They really liked seeing the best teams from the East Coast play the best teams of the West Coast. So there were more bowl games. By 1940, there were five bowl games, all of them in pretty nice places to go, like Miami, Pasadena, New Orleans, maybe not El Paso, but still it's warm. Anyway, bowl games popped up across the country in places that someone might like to visit. So now there are 40 bowl games. It's really complicated. For example, here's another homonym. This is the Cotton Bowl game being played in very much not the Cotton Bowl Stadium because the Cotton Bowl Stadium is next door and it hosts the Heart of Dallas Bowl. You wanna see what the Heart of Dallas Bowl looks like? There's nobody there. Here's another one. This is the Foster Farms Bowl. As you can see, this entire section of the stadium, they just didn't need people. The uh, Miami Beach Bowl. You'd think people would wanna go to Miami Beach. No, not really. Bowl attendance has gone down seven seasons in a row. So if there are 40 bowl games, no one's going to them, why does this exist? And honestly, there's a pretty easy answer. We watch the hell out of them. So here are the TV ratings from the day after Christmas last year. Most watched shows on TV, Cactus Bowl, Quick Lane Bowl, the pregame show for the Cactus Bowl, the pregame show for the Quick Lane Bowl, the Heart of Dallas Bowl, that game that had nobody in the stands, not a goddamn soul in the stands, Two million people watch that game on TV. And ESPN actually owns and operates over 15 bowl games. All these bowls we made fun of, literally owned by ESPN. They have it set up so that basically every single day, you will be able to watch a football game on TV Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There are two games on Friday, Saturday. There are not too many bowl games. There are exactly the amount of bowl games that we will watch. When fans of other sports talk about their postseason, they're talking about playoffs where a bunch of teams get together and lead to a champion. When college football fans talk about our postseason, we're talking about 40 unconnected games between teams with no relation to each other, played across the country and in other countries, sponsored by various snack companies, fried chicken joints, towns in Indiana, and defense contractors for the purpose of letting us watch TV 
during the holidays. That's what the postseason means to us, and that's another example of a homonym. Oh, I need this. <laughs>